What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Elder Scrolls 6 and how a lot of people are now speculating this is going to be only on Xbox and PC. And of course I know a lot of you that watch the channel uh, watch because I play ESO and upload videos for it. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably interested in Elder Scrolls 6. I'm sure a lot of you probably played Skyrim, that kind of thing. And those type games have always been uh, a big draw to ESO. A lot of people that like Skyrim came over from Skyrim and started playing ESO because there was not another you know, Elder Scrolls game out yet. And of course, this game is still at the earliest, probably a 2023, 2024 release. Most people are speculating four to six years out before the game will ever be released. We already know from Bethesda that they're working on Starfield first. They said that uh, Elder Scrolls 6 was still in the development phase. So we really don't have any more you know, info about that. But some of the leaks that have come out over the last several days have indicated that there will be a new engine for ESO, uh, for Elder Scrolls 6, excuse me, and that it is being primarily made for the Xbox hardware, which makes people believe that it's going to be an Xbox exclusive. We've kind of already heard that Starfield is going to be an Xbox exclusive. Uh, no word if it's going to ever come to PlayStation or not. And I think this has a lot of people in the just Elder Scrolls community in general kind of concerned that this will hurt ESO down the road. You know, once this game is out, will ESO be able to survive with, you know, the Elder Scrolls 6 game out? Will it draw enough of the players away to go buy Xboxes and it, it, ones that do not have them, you know, or a PC? So will it draw players away from the PlayStation side? Will it hurt the PlayStation community just in general? And I guess that could be the case down the road. I, I'm not sure if a lot of people will go out and buy an Xbox just to play Elder Scrolls 6. They may I know a lot of people out there like to play certain games that are on Xbox or certain games that are on PlayStation. But at the same time, I'm not sure if everyone's going to drop the money to go buy a Series S or Series X. Now, Series S is a bit cheaper, but most people are probably going to want the best, you know, kind of quality they can get out of their console. So a lot of people are probably going to be looking towards the Xbox Series X. And by the time, you know, uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is out, I'm sure the supply and demand will be caught up with by then. I'm sure you'll be able to find, you know, new gen consoles several years down the road. I mean, this thing could take so long. It may be even another generation of consoles before it comes out if it takes six years. They're just saying, you know, it could be four to six years before it is released. So if you think about that, six years from now, we could be looking at a next generation of consoles, not even what we're using, you know, right now, not even the Xbox Series X, S, or the PS5. So I'm kind of curious if this is going to come out as an Xbox exclusive. So it would be on Xbox and PC, of course. So there's going to be a lot of fans you know, on the PC side, on the Xbox side that play ESO that might go over and play some Elder Scrolls 6. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it really will hurt the community as a whole. A lot of people are already speculating, will ESO even be around in six years? You know, there was an article not long ago from the development team saying uh, they were going to support ESO as long as the players and as long as the community was there. I could see it possibly maybe hurting ESO down the line for the PlayStation side. I don't know if it'll ever really affect it for the PC and Xbox side unless everyone just kind of quits playing in general. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Would you buy a Xbox just to play Elder Scrolls 6 if all this comes to light? If it is an Xbox and PC exclusive, uh, would you either buy an Xbox, would you buy a PC to be able to play it? Or would you just stick with playing ESO if you own something besides an Xbox or a PC? Leave me your comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.